A customer approached Ashley, hoping she could help her solve the issue that brought her in. Hey, how are you? My niece bought me some earrings from here. Oh, that was she nice. Bought them, uh, one of the diamonds. No, do gifts come with a receipt? Yeah. Um, no, with well, this one didn't. She told you that um, she bought them from us? Yes. Apparently, the customer believes her niece got her a pair of damaged earrings from the shop, so Ashley tries to check if it really came from them. So there's two problems here. The first problem, you don't have the receipt. If you had Second of all, no cash on the receipt, it says no cash refund. She did this whole thing. Mm -hmm. These are fake. Since it seemed she wouldn't be getting what she wanted from Ashley, the lady decided to try her luck with... Jerry from here, don't get no more Jerry from hey. here, because this hey. ain't good. Hey, hey, oh, no. hey, hey. I played this game before. I know this was a scam. Of course, since his boss didn't accede to the lady's demands, it was only natural Bobby J would do the same as well. I think it's time, to leave. I think it's time for the bank to get paid. Get out of here. Get out of the store. Two options. You, you pick whichever option you want. You can leave. Because you can get the receipt. And then you can leave. Bus. I'm not going nowhere. Since the lady decided to use a confrontational approach as her means of getting what she wants, Ashley decided to have her escorted off the premises. Oh, well, I'm going to show you to the front door. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be back. I'll be back. See you then. They, you need to go get beer right quick. A very enthusiastic customer walked up to Ashley asking for help in getting himself a very nice watch. Uh, which one? That one right there. This one? Yes, ma'am. Hey. That is sharp. Now try it on. Right here. How much is this watch right here? 75 bucks. The first watch Ashley doesn't seem to satisfy Bugatti's craving, as he finds it too cheap. Sorry? That's platinum. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, now this is real nice right here. I think I could look good. This one right here. 599. Oh, no. He got a little bright. I want it. I want to buy it. Ashley manages to pick a watch that tickles the customer's fancy, eliciting a very positive response. Uh, 599 plus tax? I got you. Perfect. Now, it's worth a lot of money, so this, I should get some change. It's time for Bugatti to pay his dues. However, it seems he has other ideas in mind. And, and three more zeros with it. 2000 baby. It's a $2 bill. It's worth $2,000. Bugatti gets into a very combative mood when Ashley refuses to take his $2, which is apparently a never-before-seen $2,000 bill. Where to find a $2 bill that got red in it? Now tell me they ain't worth $2,000. That's a good death right now. Oh, don't, don't piss off Bugatti, first of all, because you know what? It's worth more than that around your neck. You understand me? You little person. Okay. You want to borrow my $2 bill? Uh, you know what? Okay. I'm going to tell you. The customer trying to sell his air gun walks into the shop. Yeah, they're holding off the press of me, man. So, air's leaking straight out of here, so I really won't be able to take it like that. Nah, what you do with it, dude? Because I'm just using that gun. So, I did bring the gun in, sir. Air's leaking. Oh, yeah. The man seems to have an issue with what he's seeing. Yeah, I'm going to need that gun. 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 Yeah, I'm going I was nailing fine two hours. The nails didn't put it in. Dog, why are you asking? This ain't no wrestling, man. Liz and Seth arrive at the scene to manage the situation. However, the customer seems to have an issue with Les. Hey, man, I'm here, buddy. Dog, I'm not gonna ask you. Dog, here. Look, dog. I just listen, brought dog. this gun up here. Yeah, listen, it doesn't work. Because it doesn't work. The customer insists on pushing his narrative. However, Les couldn't help but disagree. I just was using this gun. I just tried it out and made sure everything was cool with it. Before well, I can run this up here, man. And the same one that's on here. Noticing his aggressive approach wasn't working on the golds, the customer tries to placate the two with a softer tone. Look, dude, I need this money, dog. Yeah, but you're getting loud with us. We're not going to take your you got loud with me. I wasn't even talking to him. He called me. You don't want to be here, dog. Hey, dog. Dog, I'll walk out here myself. Ashley attends to a lady trying to pawn her Gucci bag. I'm doing OK. What can I have you with? Either trying to get a loan on it, or you guys can buy it. Trying to sell it for maybe like 150 Well, if you can tell, it's actually stained. Okay. Oh, here. Ashley vehemently refuses to give the lady a higher price for the bag due to a few things she found wrong with it. If you can tell, it's actually stained. Okay. Oh, through here. I'm trying to sell it or get a loan. $75. Yeah, I wasn't interested in more than 50 If you know purses, then you know it costs way more than this. Okay, but I'm not going to pay you for the amount that you think it's worth because it's stained. After a little back and forth between the two, Ashley discovers the bag was a fake and informs the lady who doesn't take the proclamation too well. And say it wasn't worth 
Can I talk to somebody else? I don't want to talk to your pepperoni looking ass. Can I get some My pepperoni look After coming up with a very creative insult for Ashley, the lady tries to dismiss her. Unfortunately, she'll come to learn things won't go her way all the time. Somebody else to talk to, it don't even matter. I don't have to talk to you. And I don't have to talk to you either, so why don't you go home? Can I talk store? to somebody nope. else? Why do I have to talk to you? Because you disrespectful. I'm, I'm disrespectful and you call me a pepper. Can I talk to the owner? I'm the owner. A lady walks into the shop requesting to buy a watch, a request Ashley was more than willing to oblige. Yeah. Watch my mail about $100. I got $100 to spend. All right, do you want a leather band, a metal band? Let me see this right here. This will be good. Okay. Ashley helps the lady pick out a watch that caught her eye from the display case. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. What's going on, you? That one's 100. 100. I'll take it. Okay. Thinking she's slick, the lady brings out what she thinks is a gift card, with the hopes of walking away with the watch for free. Tax on that. It's going to be 106. All right. Here. No. What is this? It's a Panera gift card? $100 gift card. These are not our gift cards. The card is, in fact, nothing other than a loyalty card meant for VIPs, but the lady refuses to accept that fact. That is not our gift card. Turn around and swipe it, okay? There's no swiper on this. So you telling me I'm losing $100? What is she going to say? What don't understand up I want to watch. Turn around and swipe it. Wait, where do you see a swipe thing on this? Like every other angry customer before her, the lady goes on a very rough rampage. Are you sister? Oh, sister? What up? Somebody wanna go out on a no. I'm gonna get my money! Hey Byron, show her where the money's at. It's very surprising how the customers never learn. A customer walked into the shop looking to return an item. The only thing is, he didn't bring a receipt. Hi. Hi. How are you? Shoe. Bought this watch from you guys a couple days ago and it's not working. Okay. I hate my money back because this Ashley knew the man was lying immediately, so she tried to ask for more details about the supposed deal. Cash? Cash. How much did you spend? I spent a lot. I would appreciate you didn't, you didn't swear at me. I'm a little frustrated. I spent. How much did you spend? I spent a few thousand dollars. On so it doesn't look like she didn't make an effort at all. Ashley decides to humor the scammer by taking a look at his watch. Is your contacts? No. You can see well, right? I can see well. With the aggressive front he was pulling, Ashley knew she had to get him out of the store. Yes, it is possible. Come here. Well, I'm going to show you where your Rolex is. Okay, come here. Come here. I'm going to show you exactly where your Rolex is. Oh, wait, if you wear a tank top, I'd advise you to work out some more. So come on. How about I work your face? Really? It's quite obvious the man didn't know what was good for him, as he actually threatened Ashley while Byron was present. I want what I paid for. Here you go. Catch. I want what I Bitch. We do not take threats lightly. Period. Les meets his match when he makes a very big mistake by trying to strike up a conversation with a customer who brought in an earring. It's upon these earrings. Okay. Trying to get $350 for them. Why do you need the money? It's none of your business why I need the money. Why are you swearing it? Because you asked The women were up in arms because they believed Les was being too nosy. I got to feed my kids with my jewelry. She just told you. No, she didn't tell me. Man, you getting on my nerves, dog. The women get ready to duke it out with Les when he tells them their item is a fake. They are real. They are real earrings. They're just not real diamonds. They are. No. Yes. Not. And what's the deal, dude? No, hey, just, we just having just, a conversation. He just told I can't you even breathe. That's how you treat your customers when they come in. They try to shame Les by claiming they'd been treated poorly, but Les gives them a very sharp rebuttal that ticks them off even more. Ma'am, here's the way I treat customers. Ladies that act like ladies are treated like ladies. It's establishment. It's that for the coach you right, right It's a thousand degrees. We ain't leaving until you get me some money. money. The woman expressed their intentions to stay in the store unless they get the money they came for. However, Byron has other plans. Time to go. No. OK. I don't want you to touch well. me. Yo, repo to be jury and law. Have a nice day. Thank you. Two angry women walk over to the porn section with their ticket in hand with the hopes of reclaiming a $10,000 ring they pawned at the store. Bam! That's my ticket, and I find my ring. This isn't our ticket. What do you mean it's not your jury? Right there at the top. Right? You want to say something? One look at it, and the employee knew the ticket was a fake. The ticket is a counterfeit ticket. No, I want none of the ring or $9,000. If you ain't got it, I'm After getting an earful of expletives and the like, Les decides he's had enough. 
so he heads on over to confront the woman. I drove all the way home to get that ticket. Uh-huh, okay. But I need to make sure it's here then. And it may say that. So. No, please. Les tries to clarify the situation as easily as he can. So y'all gonna pay me for this $10,000 ring? Of course we are. I will be back with my turn. I'll be more than happy to explain it to them. Y'all The two women who came in with a counterfeit ticket strut into the shop confidently with their attorney. Right there. Here they come again. Les? Hi, how are you? Hey, my client brought in a $10,000 ring here. Collect the remaining money owed to her on the ring or get the ring back. To drive his points home, Les comes back with a genuine ticket from the store to aid him as he makes a comparison between the two. Number one, our tickets do not have this many numbers. The amount of numbers that we have, this is the amount of numbers that are here. Okay. Number two is, okay, this is much smaller. This is Despite the glaring pieces of evidence to support Les's claim, the women remain unrelenting in their attempts to pressure Les into giving them what they came for. Period. End of story. Somebody printed that off. That is some bull. It may be bull. But ticket he got from He didn't get it from me. He didn't yeah. get it from me. So now we just lying. So we just come I'm here. not saying that you are. To add salt to the injury, the lawyer actually supports Les. However, the ladies don't take that well. The numbers don't match up. The paper stack doesn't match up. This is a fake. Stack. Now you're saying with them, you're not representing us. Exactly. You brought in a fraudulent ticket. I didn't bring no fraudulent ticket. This you, ticket came. You just Before they can make a scene, Joe appears immediately to escort them out. He's my attorney. Uh, Have me. a nice day. Nah, oh, you Thank got you. me bitch. What Sorry, young man. Sorry, young man. Sorry, And you? <laughs> we are getting it. Good luck collecting. Speaking of attorneys, here's another phony who had the gall to bring in an attorney to the shop. Just the person I need to see. I paid $500 for this uh, earring, and look what this did to my ear. Apparently, his ears turned into a very unnatural color due to the earring he allegedly bought from the store. Well, what do you want to do today? Want me Can to I figure get my out, money back? You want me to figure out why your ear's turning a different color? Is that a real diamond? I look at his earring that he says is turning zero green, and it's a fake diamond. Since the man brought a ticket with him, Ashley tries to confirm if the earring is really the same one he bought from the shop. This is not the correct earring for the receipt. I got my lawyer with me. This is wrong. Show me your card. I don't have a card with me. Well, allow from Jordan. The man tried to pressure Ashley into giving a refund by introducing his attorney who refuses to show a card nor reveal the firm he's under. The earring does not match the description. What do you mean? So you said now nah, I just brought an earring in? I mean, come on. This is your receipt. This is your store. I want my money back. This is my attorney. Would you like to meet my... The attempt doesn't phase Ashley at all, so she enlists Joe's help in escorting them off the premises. My attorney will escort you out. You better not put his hand on me. Then you better turn around with your two legs and walk out yourself. I'm not walking nowhere. Yet. I know you ain't coming out here to touch me. What I want you to do right now, turn around and walk your butt out that door. Now! Rich tries to help a guy who came in to return a faulty phone he bought from the shop. I just got this phone that I bought. It work. The camera don't work. Freeze. Yes? I need a new phone, dog. Okay. You got your receipt? No, I ain't got it with me. I ain't bring it. The man insists on getting another phone despite the fact that he didn't bring a receipt with him. Oh, that's all I'm asking for. As soon as you give me that receipt, I can see what I can do for you. I don't have my receipt. I just clearly told you that, man. Clearly you told me that. Sir. Without the receipt, there's nothing I can do for you. Rich tries to catch him in his lie by asking him to point out who sold him the phone. Somebody. He here. Right there. Him right there. Like two days ago? Yeah, you did, cuz. What kind of phone is it? It's an iPhone. The employee he pointed to revealed the fact that the shop hasn't had one up for sale in recent months. You didn't buy that from us? Yes, I clearly did. Computer. No, hold on. No, no, no. Don't touch him and let him go. Man, you and your mohawk Start mode, talking too. because he doesn't like okay, when people talk. Rick clearly told the man to go. However, the man refuses and tries to act like he didn't hear what Rick told him. Because you clearly can't hear me. There, it's off. Do this phone work? It's a simple question. Does the Can you go show him how it works? Uh, take a picture out in the parking lot.